Hello, and welcome to Science and Politics of the Human Body in the Spanish-speaking world. We are happy you will be joining us. My name is Emilio Vejel. And I am John Slater. Both of us work in the Department of Spanish and Portuguese of the University of California, Davis. And both of us teach and write about the ways in which medical ideas have shaped people's understanding of health, hygiene, and disease. As well as gender, race, and sexuality. With a particular focus on the Spanish-speaking world. You might say that we are interested in the point at which politics meets the body. And how that meeting is expressed in language. And that is the subject of this course. A course that has been a dream of ours for years. And now, our journey together is about to begin. <laughs> our journey together? That sounds a little over the top. Just go with it. Race, gender, sexuality, and even nationality are systems of categorization that draw equally on science and politics. We might ask, for example, whether race is primarily a political or an anthropological category. Is a gender a system of conventions or a biological fact? These kinds of questions take on new meanings in the context that we will study together the science and politics of the human body in Latin America. We will study how the experience of the Americas transform Spanish travelers in the 1500s, and how the enthusiastic embrace of social Darwinism fueled racist ideologies in 19th century Argentina. Throughout our course, we will examine the ways in which what at first appears to be science ends up being challenged and contested in the political arenas of Latin American colonies and nation states. Join us on a journey that crosses continents, a journey that starts in the 16th century and ends in the near future. Together, we will ask probing questions about cherished beliefs and consider the ways in which our own bodies are products of the troubled relations between science and politics. See, I told you it was going to be awesome. <laughs> John, we have work to do. Got it. <laughs> okay, everyone. First, we will discuss in detail the objectives of this course. And then we will explain how this course will work and what you can expect. This course has three objectives. First, we will examine how scientific and pre-scientific ideas and political measures have intersected in Latin America from the 16th century to today. For example, we'll study the life of one of the first Spaniards to visit what is today southwestern United States and consider the tremendous changes that he underwent during that experience. Our second objective will be to explore how those scientific ideas and political measures mm -hmm. affect the bodies of human beings, especially of marginalized individuals and groups. This consideration will take us from the 16th century to the present day. We'll look at the ways in which medical ideas about anatomical sex, the shape and development of genital organs, for example, are translated into policies that affect people's lives. For example, the lives of intersex people. Our third objective will be to examine how the political appropriation of concepts related to race, gender, class, re region, and nationality draws power from medical ideas about health. So we'll look at how Darwin ideas were used to justify racist policies in Argentina during the 1800s, and how those racial theories were contested by Jose Martí later in the same period. We've got an exciting class ahead. So let us talk about how it works in practice. Mm -hmm. 
This is a hybrid course. What that means is once a week, instead of coming to class to hear a lecture, you'll watch a video like this one. So our class will meet in person once a week. Hybrid really means that our class is half online and half in person. Instead of hearing us lecture in class, we'll delve more deeply into issues as a class together. But class will only meet once a week. Each week before class, you will watch the assigned video. We'll also ask you to complete readings. But there are no books to buy. All of the readings and videos can be found on our Canvas course page. So the first thing to do is to visit our Canvas page. Read the syllabus carefully. And familiarize yourself with the structure of the course. There will be quizzes, a midterm, and a final. But the most important thing you can do as soon as you finish watching this video is to check out our Canvas page. And read the syllabus. Emilio, this is going to be a lot of fun. I am so happy that students are going to join us on this journey together. See, you're just as melodramatic as I am. It's going to be a great quarter. We'll see you all in class.